hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss an important concept in power pages how to use pcf or power apps code component framework controls in power pages you can see here in my screen we have a choice field here right so type is a choice field which has three items please select premium and normal now normally the choice field displays a drop down right but i want to display as a pcf control like this so the choice field should look like this so how it is done in power portal or power pages we will discuss today so you have to follow two three steps for this first thing is you have to go to power pages studio and in the power pages studio you have to navigate to the data space and the data space you have to navigate to the entity for which you want to enable the uh, pcf component for the field on the form so go to the form and uh, select the target form where you want to implement the code component or PCF. I want to implement in the student edit portal form. So click on edit. Once I am clicking editing, edit, uh, I can select the field. Okay. So which field I want to edit? This one. So the type field, I want to make it as a PCF. I have already made it. So how you can do that? Pre initially it will display the drop down, but you have to select this go to property and scroll down to choose component area and add a new component and choose this option set name this option set name cc code component is available by default in the out of the box and you can take this if you have uploaded any custom component uh, in your environment it will display here and you can use it but i am using this option set name code component given by microsoft as a pcf now select this once you select this the code component will be added for the choice field here and uh, choose the mobile tab and web uh, and uh, web and tablet device then save it okay save and publish the form once you save and publish the form the control or the field will render like this okay and you have to publish that once it is published the next step is you have to enable uh, the uh, code component configuration for the control on the form using portal management model driven app so go to portal management model driven app and here you have to create a basic metadata for that form so this is the basic form i am using and i will open this basic form and go to the new basic form metadata and add a new basic meta basic form metadata and choose the attribute as type and uh, select the uh, attribute logical name here and in the control style i have to use or we have to use code component this code component selection will render the pcf control that is associated with that field okay and once you have done this configuration in the uh, power pages studio synchronize the configuration and you can preview the website once you preview the preview the website it will uh, let's say my page is manage student and if, uh, here when i click on edit student the edit form will open and the edit form will open where the type field will display as a pcf control right so this is how we can embed pcf control rendering for uh, basic form in power pages now you can upload any uh, custom code and uh, enable the rendering of pcf using basic form metadata thank you everyone for watching this video uh, you can use this technique in your project to display pcf on your power pages basic form thanks everyone bye